it's time for another unboxing. Just look at what this went through. Oh, jeez. I hate to even think about it. And I have a fairly good idea what this is. It's from JJ and Bex in uh, Medina, Ohio. I'm just taking my trusty, very sharp little exacto knife here to it. I'll hold this up so that you guys can see what it is when I see it. Look, just a rubber band, just in case the tape failed. What do we have? Da, da, da. We've got newspaper padding. Well, underneath the newspaper we have a whole bunch of stadium mustard. Can't get this easily in my neck of the woods. My good friend Stan introduced me to stadium mustard. He would buy them in quantities of 30 straight from the manufacturer back when they provided free shipping. Guess what? We recently checked. They don't provide free shipping when you do a bulk order anymore. You have to pay almost as much for the shipping as for the order, which means that I can get these on Amazon, uh, where I have uh, Amazon Prime, for about the same price as he was getting, but I didn't have to pay for shipping. And, oh, look, there's a uh, an invoice here. Let's do a quick look at this invoice. little note we take pride in what we do if your order does not meet your expectation has been damaged in shipment you can contact us directly at then I get an email address well I'm going to go through and make sure that these loosely packed high fairly banged up uh, box doesn't have a problem but I bought a case of 12 this mustard is delicious I mean, I'm a Dijon fan, I'm a German mustard fan, I love my mustards. And once I put this one on a hot dog, I went, oh mama, this is absolutely superb. And my friend Stan cooks with it, so can't recommend this mustard enough. Enough. Um, a couple of you know that I do Freelance Fandangles on Monday. And I have a couple friends at Freelance Fandango who have a standing order for some bottles, so this Monday come to Freelance Fandango and buy your bottle of mustard from me. Because otherwise, I'll have at least a two-year supply here. 